Old Dad Brooks must be running in hard luck, or he'd never turn his place into a dude ranch. I guess you won't have no chance getting our jobs as a horse's chambermaid. Don't worry. When Dad says he's got jobs, he's got them. What a horse. He acts like a ladies' man. I'll bet he's got more wives than King Solomon ever had. Let's take a look at his brand. Nice, friendly neighborhood. Looks fishy to me when somebody's afraid he'll get close enough to see the brand on their stock. But you know what they say, curiosity killed the cat. I see you just let the stallion out. Sure. Think you'll catch some more strays. That's swell.
This is a funny place to leave a car. Yeah. Well, guess we better move it off the road. Somebody's liable to run into it if they speed around that bend. You think you can handle that outlaw? Sure can, even a bicycle. You just watch me. went wrong, I guess. <laughs> you guess. I know. What are you doing with my car? Well, well, where have you been? None of your business. <laughs> Don't you think so? Sure is, Tom. It's the first time in your life you've been right. Well, keep quiet, or I'll have you arrested. <laughs> and you too. <laughs> Excuse me, sister, but you're sure funny. Oh, this is an outrage. First you jam up my car, and then I've got to listen to your insults. I'm sorry, miss, but I'm standing in the middle of the road, and I figured somebody might run into it. And I thought I'd better move it. Oh, you thought, huh? Well, you shouldn't try to think. <laughs> well, don't stand there like a boob. Why don't you help me? Push! before we put our foot in it again. Nice girl, Miss Dolores. Yeah, we're a sister. I think I want to beat you today. Oh, you do, Smarty. Well, well, I don't think so. <laughs> Prize mares day after tomorrow. I've got to have money or I'm sunk. Oh, they're in the corral now, Mr. Brooks. Ready for shipping. They ought to bring top prices. How many are there left on the range? The men are out tallying up. Ought to be about a thousand. Should be five thousand. Those only horse thieves hadn't run them off. Don't get excited. I'm following up some clues. Get more men to help you. I'm short-handed here and on the range. All right, I will. I'm almost at the end of my string. What with losing my stock and having to turn this place into a crazy dude ranch, I'm fit to be tied. <laughs> Thank you. 
go on with our game. <clears throat> I'll get the club. Everything will be all right, Mr. Brooks. Don't worry. What about it, Joe? Any luck? Thirty more heads safe in the canyon. Any trouble? Only a couple of guys snooping. Scared them off good and plenty, though. Them's the guys now. Now, they didn't see me, but you, you watch your step. What do you want? Jobs. Need any hands? No, we're full up. But listen. Never mind, there are no jobs. How do you know? Because I'm the foreman, that's why. Now beat it, cowboy, and don't come back. Just a minute. I guess you're a bouncer, not a foreman. I'll bounce one off of your chin if you don't keep your mouth shut. You and who else? Hey, what's the idea? Ah, a couple of cowboys got fresh. I didn't suppose looking for a job was being fresh. Well, why don't you hire them? You know we're short-handed. No, oh, I don't like the looks of them. Put them on the payroll. We need every hand we can get. But, Mr. Brooks... You heard me. I'm still running this ranch. All right, put your traps in the bunkhouse. I'm going to have to watch them. Anything else? No. I suppose one of those guests took him. We ought to have a lock on that door. Had a lock on that door for years. But I guess you're right. Get a padlock when you go to town. Yes, sir. You stay here and keep your eyes peeled for that foreman. If he comes this way, whistle. All right, Tom. I'm sure <laughs> glad to see you, Tom. That goes for me, too. And I hope I can be of some help. Sit down. Thank you. Well, Tom, it's as bad and maybe worse than I told you in my letter. They're cutting my stock down something terrible. Suspect anybody? I'm getting so I suspect everybody, including all the dudes on the ranch. You see, I'm helpless. I can't even ride a horse since they plugged me from ambush. Winthrop just had to take on a couple of new hands, and he wants us to get rid of them. Well, we've got rid of others. But no shooting this time. But anything else goes. Savvy? Yeah. Are you willing to take a long chance? That's what I'm here for. But you know you will be entirely on your own. Will you stick? To the finish. Well, good luck, Tom. <whistles> See you later. <whistles> Lumsy. <laughs> Look what 
what you did to my dress. I guess I, I put my foot in it. I mean, I'm, I'm glad to see you again. Oh, you're impossible. How dare you follow me to this ranch? But I didn't. I, I just been hired. Good. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'll have my uncle fire you. Can't be done, Dolores. We need every hand we've got. But look, he's ruined my dress. Well, we'll take the cleaning bill out of his wages. Yes, sir. Oh, wait a minute, cowboy. Do you need this man for an hour? No. Go to the stable and groom and saddle my horse. She has a nameplate over her stall that says Brown Betty. In case you can't read, ask any of the boys. <laughs> And be sure and wait for me. I'll be there in an hour or so. Yes, Mr. Loris. Miss Brooks to you, cowboy. Yes, Mr. Loris Brooks. <laughs> you don't mind carrying a horse for Miss Dolores Brooks? Get busy. I want this horse to look slicker than actual grease. Well, why don't you do something? I'm working harder than you are. Oh, horse feathers. I'm trying to figure out where this white stallion fits into this game. Hit that right rump again. The lady will be here in a minute. Say, ain't we got enough on our mind without you falling for that blonde? Me falling for her? <laughs> I wish she'd break a leg so I'd have an excuse to shoot her. Love, labor, lost, then. Here she comes. I'm not so sure I'd use this horse, Mr. Lars Brooks. She's awful frisky, been in the stable too long. Mind your own business, cowboy. Very well, Mr. Lawrence Brooks. Allow me to help you. No, just hold my horse. Well, what are you standing there for like a chump? Why don't you help a lady? Yes, Mr. Lawrence Brooks. And don't keep saying yes, Mr. Lawrence Brooks, like a big ninny. No, Mr. Lawrence Brooks. Fresh? Yes, and no, Mr. Lawrence Brooks. Oh. Nice girl, Miss Dolores Brooks. Yes, her cousin. in the canyon are all set. Ah, uh, good. I'll stay here to see that nobody's snooping around. You better keep your eye on those two new hands, boss. Ah, uh, they're just a couple of dumbbells. Line, I'll keep on north. All right, Mr. Tom Saunders. Oh, shut up.
Are you all right? Yes. Oh, it was wonderful you came along just in time. I'd have been killed if it hadn't been for you. Oh, I don't talk about it, Miss Brooks. I'm glad you're not hurt. Oh, that terrible wild horse. The moment Brown Betty saw him, there was no holding her. You know, I had an idea just before I fainted that it was that new cowboy that saved me. Oh, forget all about it, Miss Brooks. Come, I'll take you to the ranch. Get on my horse. Yeah. Oh. Nice girl, Miss Delores Brooks. Yes, for an aunt. <laughs> I'm sorry, old pal, sorry. Oh, that's all right. But don't do it again. No, never again. Got a match, pardon? Sure. Let's get out of here. Somebody's coming. Got a match, partner? Got a match, buddy? Yeah. You know, I have a sneaking idea that the wild stallion and the horse thieves are working together. What do you mean? Very simple. The stallion coaxes the mares away, and the horse thieves steal them from the stallion. Say, there's $5,000 worth of pride brood mares down that corral. What about them? Well, if the thieves want to pull anything out of the grail, they'll have to hurry, because the mares will be shipped day after tomorrow. Which means we won't get no sleep tonight nor tomorrow night. Right, old Sherlock, and especially tomorrow night, when everybody will be at the dance. Marvelous, Watson, but I still insist she's a very nice girl, Miss Dolores Brooks. For our grandmother.
out of it, pal. We've got to blow in a few minutes. All right. I'll just look them over. You sneak to the barn and I'll meet you there after the next dance. have a little smoke. Well, that's not a bad idea. I wish this silly business was over and my stock was shipped. Well, I appreciate the way you feel about it, Dad. I only wish I could help you. But as long as you can't put your finger on anyone, why, my hands are tied. That's just the trouble. I can't. And I'm afraid if you ever catch those thieves, there's going to be one grand necktie party. Law or no law. All right, we'll sit this one out if you insist. Oh, you're not very flattering. I know my place. You've put me in it often enough. But that was before. Before what? Before you saved me. You're making a big mistake. I'm not the man who saved you. Aren't you? No. Shall I get him for you? Oh, never mind. Even though you're not the man, you'll do just as well. Now you're kidding me. Indeed, I'm not. Let's take off our masks and be ourselves. Why don't you take your mask off? I did. No. I mean the one you've been wearing ever since you've been at the ranch. Maybe I'm dumb, but... There are times when I really think you are. Then why bother with me? Because a girl can't help feeling grateful to a man who's risking his life to help someone like my uncle. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do, Tom. And now that you know what I think of you, won't you tell me... Would I really think of you? Yes. I think you are a pill, Mr. Loris Brooks. I'm going up and watch the big corral. You stay here and don't let anybody follow me. All right, Tom. those two guys. The big fella wrote the corral, but we put the other one out and threw him in the barn. Ah, uh, couldn't be better. Well, you men beat it and stay out of sight. All right, come on.
Get some men, Sheriff, and I'll show you the horse thief. What do you mean? Ah, the fellow that's been stealing our herd. He's at the big corral now. What's the trouble, Uncle? They're after the horse thieves. They're at the big corral right now. Well, what did I tell you, Sheriff? But listen, the stallion was running off with the mares, and I only tried to herd them back. Never mind. Tell that to the judge if you get that far. idea. What happened? Ah, uh, we caught your horse thief. Yeah, we finally got him. Not yet, Sheriff. Steal him up. Now get off your horse. Tell the senorita I changed my mind. She's not a pill. No? No. She's a peach. Yeah. Now that we're in this mess, what are we going to do? We're going to follow the trail of that stallion. When we find him, we've got the horse thieves. Marvelous, Watson. Right, old Sherlock. Well, I guess we're at the end of our trail. But this is the way the stallion and the mares must have gone. Well, they couldn't get through here. Yeah, I guess you're right. Come here. The 
tracks go right through. Remember what the boss said now, no shooting. This tree is nothing but a gate. You're right. Here they come. Stop where you are. Come on, get the horses. Come on, you guys, get out of here. Some more hope. Let's tie these fellows up. We better look around and see if there's anybody with them. Yeah, they're safe now. They can't get away. Now what are we gonna do? Watson? Oh, shut up, will you? If you see anything, give me a signal. Right. Penny! Blackie's not tying himself. Blackie! <laughs> Say! He does know something besides eat notes, don't he? Shut up. If you'd eat some oats, you'd have some horses, too. Becky, yeah. come here. Hurry up. Come here. Hurry. Hurry, Becky. Come on, Becky. Come on. Come on. Hurry up now. Come on, Becky. Come on, hurry, Becky, hurry. Oh, oh, hurry, atta boy. Oh, atta boy. Hurry, Becky, before they get here. Any luck? Not a bit. Let's go. Watch for it. Watch for it. Now reach for the clouds. Put them up. Get up. Get up on your feet. No, you don't. Barney, go get the sheriff. Yes, yeah, Sheriff. We followed their trail and captured them this morning. Thomas guarding them at the mouth of the canyon. Yeah, they confessed everything. And all of old Dad's stock is safe. All right. Hurry up. I'll be waiting here for you.
Easy. Drop it. Pick him up. Get her open. We'll tie him up, boys. Come on with it. Come on. I suppose if we'd have been a half an hour later, you'd have had six of them. <laughs> no, thanks, pal. Three's enough. I'll show you the layout of this canyon. Then we'll verify the confession of these fellas. Well, that's great. And remember, you got five grand coming from the Cattle Raiders Association. That'll just be enough to kick all the dudes off that ranch. Got your lock, Mr. Brooks. I'll put it on right away. Never mind, Slim. I'll put it on myself. Imagine. All these years, and I haven't had to put lock on that door till now. What's this world coming to? Go get your breakfast, and then come back for the outgoing mail. All right, sir. Have you had any more news about... Uh, about those two horse thieves? No, I haven't. But it can't be true. It simply can't. Oh, good morning. Hmm. Good morning. Good morning. I just brought the mail. Look what the sheriff is bringing us. Congratulations, Sheriff, on catching the horse thieves. It's you we want, Winthrop. Oh, that's all right, Sheriff. Have you a little joke? It's no joke, Winthrop. We've got your men and that stock, and the stallion thrown in with it. You mean to say this is the man who's been stealing my stock? Yes. We have the confession from his own men. We've got you, Winthrop. Dead to rights. I know when I'm licked. I... I guess you win. Stay on oh, you! Stick like oh, oh, or I'll drill you! Oh, oh. Outside, quick! He'll get out the other door. He can't. The other door's locked. Breaking you down.
Well, Dad, I'll be traveling. Are you traveling alone? Oh, no, Miss Dolores. Tom never travels without me. Do you, Tom? Well, um, why don't you come back and see me sometime? Oh. Uh, nice girl, uh, Miss Dolores Brooks. <laughs> 